guys, it's Becca. So I am back in Rome and back in school. You may have noticed that there's been a little bit of break in my videos and that is because, frankly, I have been really dreading making this video. Um, I have not drawn at all for an entire month. Uh, and that's definitely the longest I've gone without drawing since I started my art journey over three and a half years ago. So it is a really big break in the norm and there's a reason behind it, unfortunately. So I debated as to whether or not I really wanted to go into this on my channel because my goal for this channel is I wanna be a positive source of encouragement for people. I wanna have a positive energy. And what's most important to me is that I do not wanna perpetuate this myth that being an artist is this like miserable, horrible, arduous process that's, you know, depressing. Um, because I don't feel like that. Usually I, I do feel positive about my art and I feel positive about the improvements I see and, and I, I enjoy what I'm doing. Uh, that being said, this last month was a really rough period for me. It was a very dark period for me and uh, I felt like ultimately it was better just to be honest about it and tell you guys what happened in hopes that maybe some of you can relate to it and can see that there is, of course, a light at the end of every tunnel. And I thought that was probably better than just pretending that it didn't happen because that felt a bit dishonest. So this is what happened. Um, as maybe you know, I went back to the United States for Christmas to celebrate with my family. And when I got back, it was the first time that I really sat down and thought about my experience in Rome and whether I felt like I was on the right track, whether I felt like I was living by my values, whether it seemed like an experience that was um, all in all a positive experience for me. And I was very surprised because I had a very strong response of no, it was not. And it was not an experience that I wanted to continue. And it was extremely disturbing because it was the first time I'd really thought about this. And then the second I, I let myself think that, um, I was just completely flooded, just flooded with negative feelings and doubt and dread and this this very, very strong feeling that I did not want to go back to school, that I did not want to go back to, to Italy at all. I was just, I, I can only describe it as just feeling like I was drowning all of a sudden. And maybe this comes kind of as a, a surprise because I feel like I've been pretty upbeat on my channel. And the fact of the matter is I have kept it together. I mean, for three months, I really tried to stay as positive as possible. I tried to keep up my, you know, positive attitude and have a good mindset about things. But ultimately, um, I think I was just suppressing a lot of stress and a lot of anxiety. And towards the end, I basically started to fall apart. Um, my, my entire premise of what I'd been working for for so long, this idea of respecting the learning process and being a patient person, I felt like I was kind of watching it crumble before my very eyes. And it was so disappointing because it really felt like I'd put a lot of work into something in myself. And I honestly felt like I had just reverted to this absolute worst version of myself who was just consumed by stress and anxiety and and just just generally being very mean to myself and very critical of myself and um by the end of the three month period it was just like i could not keep it together anymore so i ultimately did decide to come back to rome but i wasn't really sure what i was going to do when i got here and one of the strongest feelings I was having was this absolute aversion to drawing. Like, I, like just looking at my iPad kind of made me feel ill. And I'm, you know, of course, all artists experience some level of resistance at times, but this was like nothing I had ever experienced before. It was just so strong and so negative. And so basically I, I just kind of like walked around like a zombie for a week, trying to decide what I wanted to do. I even considered dropping out of school completely, which was, honestly something I probably would have done if I thought it was legally possible. Um, and ultimately it just came back to this idea where I was in this negative headspace and I knew it was a perception issue because I had spoken with my friends, I had spoken with my family, I knew. And everyone was very gentle with me, of course, but, but it was not the actual situation that it was the problem. It was my mindset about the situation. Um, but I couldn't figure out how to get out of it. I mean, I was so stuck and this was more stuck than I'd ever been anywhere in my art process so far. I've always been able to get myself out of whatever negative mindset I was in. And this time I was just so deep in it that I couldn't, I could not see how I was going to get out of this mentality and of this, this sort of aversion to the whole idea of making art. <laughs> so finally, after a few very horrible weeks of me just 
overthinking every decision and, and every possibility in my life, um, I finally met with the program director at school. And I had met with him, if you remember, in the past because I wanted to switch down to the entry level class instead of the middle level class. And ultimately I did not do that. So I met with him again and this time I said, look, like this time I am 100% sure that I wanna to switch to the lower level class. I'm just, this is not a good fit for me. I, I can't do this, I'm too stressed. It's not the direction I wanna go, blah, 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 a million excuses. And so we had a discussion about it and somehow I ended up staying in the same class. I don't know, it's, it's like almost funny that I keep going there and trying to drop down classes and not being able to, but almost a joke, but yeah, it's still, it's still too soon. Maybe in a few weeks we'll try out, try that out as a joke. <laughs> right now it's, it's a little painful. So that's where I am now. It's not the happiest ending to the story, but I am feeling a lot better. Being back in class has, has helped me clear my head and I started drawing again and it makes me feel like, okay, I'm, I'm getting through this a little bit. And I also am working really hard to kind of rebuild some self-trust because when you start doubting yourself like that, you really break down your self-trust and obviously it does number on your mental health as well. So right now I'm trying to be really kind to myself and trying to um, make some, some boundaries with my schoolwork and my expectations of myself and my hopes for what I'm gonna do after this because a lot of this was rooted in me doing a lot of forward thinking and, and thinking about my long-term career and all of these things, um, things I didn't have control over. So I am trying really hard to use this again as a learning experience um, and, and going back to the basics, which are focusing on this as a learning process, doing the best that I can and understanding that that this is not a perfect process, that I'm not a perfect person and that um, these kind of things happen. The last thing that I wanted to add and be really clear about is that none of this is a reflection at all of how anyone has treated me at the school. They have been everyone, everyone at school, my teachers, my classmates have been nothing but 110% supportive and totally willing to work around my needs and, and been available and have, have gone above and beyond what I have ever experienced at any other school. So I am so grateful for them for that. And um, in that same vein, I take 100% responsibility for my feelings about the situation because this is this is a perception issue that I have to take ownership for and a mindset issue and it's not a reflection of anybody else um, around me or the school that I'm in. So let's wrap this up and hopefully this is the first and last video with this tone of 2020, fingers crossed. I, like I said, I am feeling a lot better and um, I'm hoping to keep this trajectory in a positive way but I did want to explain kind of what happened and and uh hopefully this is relatable to you again like just thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for your continued support a lot of times this channel is what keeps me going it keeps me grounded and it keeps me really honest and i am so grateful for um this community so thank you so much guys and next time i will hopefully have more funny gifts for you <laughs> see you soon